I'm an epidemiologist. I'm a former family physician. So I'm a medically trained epidemiologist. And what I mainly do is research synthesis. I get uh, information on a health topic and I synthesize it, having appraised it by, uh, by its quality, by its methodology. I've done 17 Cochrane reviews, co-authored 17 Cochrane reviews over 25 years. Um, but Cochrane is a model which I think has, has uh, now uh, run its course because Cochrane is anchored on publications. Their main sources of information are publications, and we know that publications have been, the last decade has shown quite clearly that publications of clinical trials um, overall are not really um, uh, dependable. There's a lot of fake science, there's a lot of poor science, poor quality science around. And there are a lot of people with conflicts of interest of all kinds, which are monetary, but also non-monetary. Um, it's a very, very sad situation. Debate is getting stifled, as you know, from the conference. Um, shutting up any, any, any closing down, any kind of debate is, this seems to be the, the modern McCarthyism. Uh, and it's a very worrying situation. And journals, uh, medical journals, are part of the problem. They're not part of the solution. Um, journals do, don't want to retract articles. They don't want to correct articles. They don't answer letters that they don't want to answer. Um, and they are vehicles for uh, marketing. They are mainly marketing vehicles. I'm not the first person who says that. Really, the first person who brought that out was Richard Smith, former editor of the BMJ. And it's quite clear that that's what they are, especially the, the big journals, because they are uh, subscriptions are going down. So they need revenue from the sale of reprints and uh, advertising, conferences, business and so on. Well, the evidence iceberg is uh, the picture I showed are two icebergs. One's completely below the waterline, so you don't know, uh, you can't see it. And the other one is partly above the waterline. And what sticks out of the waterline are, uh, in the case of clinical trials, uh, the clinical trials which are published in journals and the ones that are registered on registers, on trial registers. These tend to be a few pages worth of information, whereas below the clinical waterline, there's a huge amount of information, uh, tens of thousands of pages. Um, the highest we've calculated is 8,000 pages of um, material under the waterline for each page above the waterline, so for each page which is published, uh, which makes um, uh, journal articles an unreliable source of um, uh, information, regardless of any other distortions. It's simply they are, in, it, they are very brief summaries or what is a huge complicated endeavor, uh, that's a clinical trial to test medicines, biologics, vaccines, implantables, anything which is of major importance to, to healthcare, any intervention.